Hey guys, it's Splinterverse. Welcome to Frostring Fridays, where every Friday we bring you a new Frostring Arena deck for Hex Shards of Fate. This one is called Bride of Uranus, and it is not my creation. It is one that I found back in the day on Hex CG Browser. Um, so we're going to walk you through the deck, and I'll include a timestamp in the description in case you want to skip the deck. Uh, preview as well as I will include the deck list so that you can you don't have to pause the video and write it down all right so to start we have uh, 10 blood shards I just happen to have some from the siege and some of the normal ones um, then four brood ambrosia this is a, a good critical piece here because it's going to uh, enable your thresholds you're going to be using it on cards like this one down here which has quite a few sh uh, thresholds here it's got six so this is going to help ramp those thresholds not the resources the thresholds and that's very important uh, then the blood ice is going to enable draws um, it functions as a typical ice blight bark reserve is going to give you some uh, card draw um, I'm sorry zombie <laughs> I think it's, yeah, Drop of Ikor gives you zombies, I think. Yep. Death Cry gives you zombies, so you'll be putting that on troops because you'll be using Extinction in this. So the ultimate goal is to either have a Bride Down or Uranus, um, or both, um, and take advantage of those those thresholds that you've built up. So this card, Tome of Uranus, um, you can search your deck for a blood dragon, which would be Uranus, and uh, you can spend four to make your your opposing champion discard a card, and it, uh, the dragons in your hand get cost minus one. We are using a piece of equipment on it. We're using the bookmark blade, which is in the weapon slot, and it um, it changes what it has, so we get that that dragon option there because we're using that as our weapon. Uh, spectral acorn this is enabling the card draw that we need um, we don't use it for the mystic squirrel ability ever because it'll ruin the card permanently uh, not just for the match uh, falling singularity this card um, when you deploy it you choose blood and then uh, when you play a card of that shard you get two sh charges which is helpful in this in this uh, deck and then at the start of your turn any troops of that of that color get uh, plus one plus one and I guess we should show this card too for you um, so we're just using the d deploy here don't worry about that or the spectral keyword um, then we have extinction we uh, we only had one copy of fallen singularity but extinction we have four um, this just happens to be the alternate art version it destroys all troops and that's that's important because both uh, Uranus and uh, the Bride of the Damned work with Crypt, uh, so things in the Crypt, so it's important to put things in the Crypt so that you can you can get them out. Oni Assassin, it's a PvE only card, you can tell by the border here. Again, the six thresholds. Um, it's lethal, it destroys target opposing troop and each opposing troop that shares a trait with that troop. So super powerful. Um, it has equipment, but we're not using equipment um, in this deck. So here's the other extinctions. And then Uranus, we do have um, three copies of him. One is an alternate art, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, so here we go. He is a unique. You can only have one out there at a time. And you may put target troop from an opposing crypt into play under your control. And then when it deals damage to an opposing champion, uh, you may put target trip from an opposing crypt, crypt into play under your control. So when he deploys, you can steal something from the crypt. And when he does damage, and he's a flyer 5-5, five, five, so that's frequently, um, you can you can, um, you can can steal a, a troop from the opposing uh, crypt, uh, which is nice. And uh, we're using his equipment. Um, so it's the chest, and that, it changes the text so that... Uh, yeah, it says when Uranus attacks berry cards on the top of target champion's deck equal to the uh, blood that you have. So again, since we're building up these these blood thresholds, 
you know, that could be six things buried, and then that gives us troops to steal with him, right? Cop Tettle's Thirst. Um, it's, it's enabling the card draw. Uh, we can put it on opposing troops to minus them down. If we have a troop that's large enough, we can put it on ours, uh, like even our Uranus. Um, make him do eight damage instead of five. Um, so good options with this. And we have four of those. Then with Naive Lackey, we have four, but I've got two with the alternate arts here. So um, Death Cry draw card. So this is a, a card draw chump blocker for us. But notice we also have equipment on him, and that's the Callow Clogs. Uh, so your Naive Lackeys have Deploy, Target Opposing Champion, Discards a Card. Again, trying to get them to put stuff into their crypt um, so that we can steal it either later or right away. And then Vampire Prince, again, Alternate Arts. I got four of those in here. So it has Life Drain and Flight, and when it deals damage to a champion, bury the top card of their deck. Again, putting stuff in the, in the crypt. If you buried a resource, transform it and put it into your hand, giving you another resource, helping you ramp uh, to get uh, to get to Uranus, uh, which is important. Um, I mean, the Tome of Uranus is going to help hopefully reduce the cost of him, but he is normally seven, so you know we need those resources. Hero Fall, alternate art here. We have four copies. Um, destroy target opposing troop, then void each opposing troop with the same name in hands and decks. So this is going to um, give us some removal. But notice we have the glove slot. Uh, we, we're using the gloves of betrayal for this card. So instead of instead of destroying, we're gaining control of the troop. So um, and it has a reduced cost if we have underworld troops, which I don't think we have any. Yeah, none of these appear to be Underworld, so it doesn't help us there, but but it does steal troops kind of like Uranus and uh, Bright are doing, so ultimately we're going to be hopefully stealing a lot of their troops. And then we get down to uh, Bride here. Lethal, when you gain blood, target opposing troop gets minus one, minus one. And when an opposing troop dies, revert it and put it into play under your control once you've reached five thresholds. Again, another reason to reach those thresholds. But look, we've changed it a little bit here with our equipment. So we've got the handbook of the fatally found for the trinket slot. Your brides of the dan instead have five blood shards. When a troop enters an opposing crypt, revert it and put it into play under your control. So you can steal it, um, which is nice. And then the head slot, we're using the blackest veil. Your brides of the dan instead have when you gain. Um, blood target opposing troop gets minus one minus one and that troops controller just guards a card so again that's going to help get stuff in the crypt that we can steal either with bride of the damned or uranus um, so because because again here with this if 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 the opposing champion discards a troop then we steal it if we've reached the five threshold here so very good so again, I'll link uh, list all this in the description, um, so you don't have to type this up. And uh, on to the on to the matches. Okay, guys. So we're in the first match. It's the it's the hard mode. We we skip tier one, so you guys can see the deck perform hopefully in a uh, harder setting. Uh, we didn't review the uh, champions. So let me do that super fast here. So. Mistress Erevin, um, you spend four uh, charges and target troop you control gets death cry draw a card. So since you'll be playing extinctions and stuff, that's going to help you uh, be able to get um, be able to get uh, you know your, through your deck faster. So apparently, it says start of the game, each champion chooses a target action in their hand. It gets when you play this copy. It great. So I'm going to copy <laughs> extinction, which really isn't going to help. Um, I guess if there's a rebirth, it will help, but um, yeah, that's not going to be much help. All right, so we're going to go with, uh, let's see, I'll just go with the regular blood shard to start. Get down a naive lackey. Cool. 
And making them put something in their crypt already. So already we've got a troop in there. It's nice. Summon a copy of itself. I put a resource on top. Just because I want to make sure we get to uh, extinction resource levels here, plus we need to get to six to get him. Oof. Okay, he stole he stole our resource. <laughs> it's a good thing we put a resource on top. All right, so now we can play Bride of the Damned. these zombie things on um, on the little chumpers because when they die they summon a replacement chumper oof okay he's gonna steal our bride at least he doesn't have the equipment so So we're kind of okay. So we need to. So we're definitely gonna play that. Up. Put a random non-resource. All right. Ah, oh, keep stealing our rides here. That's the thing about the. You know these the opponents in frosting is you're gonna get um, gonna get all kinds of uh, crazy OP stuff. All right, so let me go ahead and extinction here because that'll give us multiple cards. Unfortunately, it's gonna get rid of all of our zombies as well because it was copied. But now we've got our Uranus. Um, we still need one resource, but... I don't understand how it's getting impacted by the equipment since it was stolen, but okay. So I'll play this. Destroy that. Although we could have stolen it with our um, with our hero fall, we will steal it with this. Although I like that flyer too. We just don't have the resources to play it if we it's put back in our hand. Okay, we gotta put this on him. See if he steals something. If he does, we can steal it back at least. Oh man, two turns. Like I said, the AI is kind of OP, but it helps because it's AI, right? It needs um, needs a little help. He's down to a few cards though. He keeps drawing resources, so he's not able to do anything. card here. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I want this, but I like having that. Especially since he's stealing stuff. 
So you see, the goal here is to... Alright, he's gonna... Steal extinction. It's not good. Uh, well, we can steal his stuff. We can also do extinction. Dude. He's down to 8 health here. I'm not gonna play him yet because we could use it to destroy. Oh, he's he's got that kind. Of, okay. Never mind. Okay. He is an underworld troop, so we can't get him that way, but we can get him this way. So you kind of see how the deck works. We'll play a couple more just for fun. Uh, we're not going to play the whole Frost Ring. This video would be way too long. <laughs> um, and I've played this before and I've done pretty well. I think I've completed it several times uh, with this, but it's not a guarantee. I mean, there's a lot of busted opponents. Um, very few decks are guaranteed to get all the way through. So, um, But it's definitely fun. You earn some gold, even if you don't complete. So we've got our Uranus here. We really don't have much else. Alright, this is a better hand to keep us. Uh, each champion chooses a cheaper in their deck and creates four copies of that card. That's nice. Okay, um. I guess Bride? We have more lackeys. Actually, I should have done Uranus, but it's fine. Here's here's the abilities. It's pretty nasty when it gets to the the end there. Take it this time. Now we'll see if having this Oh, that's right, he has reach. Silly me. Draw that. Put down another bride. We can get this down. It's going to um, be able to remove a lot of these because they all have a um, plant subtype here. So now I think the best bet is to put 
activities on her. And then at least when she dies, we'll have two chumpers, and hopefully we draw a. We need to draw a resource on our next turn because if we do, we can play Oni and. Here comes all the plants. Ugh, we didn't get a resource. Damn it. It's alright. So. We can draw a card, though. Perfect. all those. Now let's give this little guy that ability. So if we need to draw a card. So the beauty is is our undead is getting buffed by by Bar Baroness Floriana as well. So we didn't even have Yernes there, but you can see this a lot of beautiful synergies on this deck. And that Oni Assassin just wrecked. We were lucky though that, that the opponent had basically a single type across all those troops. Okay, so I like these hands that have the, the low fry stuff, small fry stuff here. Even though we can't play Oni Assassin right away, it's good to have... These coming into play here. So already we've got a troop over there. This is what this one does. He's all about conscripting. The more you play Frostring Arena, the more you'll know what uh, what each of these uh, champions do. Although we can, we will take that. So it's not a big deal. Great. So we're getting resources through this. Um. Kind of want to block. Let me block with all these guys. So we can draw some cards here. Perfect. 
perfect. Now, let's show you how this Brood Ambrosia works. Just gonna pick randomly three cards, and we need to take. Okay, in this case, we have no choice but to take something with two thresholds. You hope it hits a Uranus or an Oni Assassin, but now it's brought us up to five. So that's good. Um. No point in playing that just yet. Don't feel compelled to play your charge powers immediately. Sometimes they're worth holding on to. Assassin right now. We will put this on him. The combination of stealing their troops and making them discard is brutal because they end up, you know, with pretty much nothing left. Um, nothing in their hand and nothing on the board. Dead. Okay, now we're going to go against an elite, so we'll see how that works out. This is what our champion does here. Alright, so this hand... Eh. Let's go with something else. This is way better. Look at this. We got the two Brood Ambrosias. So it's double opportunities to get that. Alright, so... give us Uranus or no. So we're going to get two out of it. But we can potentially get two next turn as well. So he's transforming into... Oh, in the deck. That's crazy. He could potentially turn into our Uranus, which would not be good. So... Getting plenty of these, though. So now, see, we can get six thresholds. We're going to be at eight. Um... Fourteen. Fourteen thresholds here. Alright, we're gonna get our bride down. I could have stolen something over there, but there wasn't anything worth stealing, and this is better to steal, right?
three damage. Resources here. We need that out of here and on to our side. That's obnoxious. Hopefully, we can steal it. with that all right so let's let's finish out this uh, tier hopefully and then we will wrap up the video here please subscribe to the channel we have new daily videos for you every day and we're going to try to do a frost dream video for you every single friday so uh, stay tuned and then we'll have other games eventually as well Getting good hands at all here. Jeez Louise. I didn't want to go down even further. Hopefully, we draw something usable here. Dang. We might get our first defeat here, but that's alright. You get three defeats, and we're only playing this tier. Good for you to see that you can get some challenging hands too. So um, do this. All right, and this is also her powers here. Please hit an Oni Assassin. No. Well, we'll get two off of this guy. Takes us to four. Can't play this. Because um, it'll kill our dude here. I'm hoping for a resource. Oh, okay. No. Hmm. Could play this to draw a card at least. Yeah, I'm going to do that. That's good, at least we got a resource off of it. So we can Extinction next turn. Worst case scenario. Although that would be good. So we're not doing very good with our Ambrosius here, but good enough. So we're going to, yeah, we don't want to steal any of those, so we'll just Extinction. Now, keep in mind, she has Crypt, Crypt, uh, powers, so. Can we target that? I think we can. This guy, because he probably will live longer than most. All right. Traditional hero fall that just destroys. At least we can do this now. Clicking F8 for me uh, completes the turn, skips all the phases. Oh, that's a good one to steal. Um, you can also click this button, It'll, and hovering over will tell you what your, your hotkey is for it. Alright, 
Alright, so... Can't steal them, but we can at least get rid of them. Yep. And we'll go ahead and put this on him. Because we want cards, so we're going to do this... attack with this guy so we can get a little bit of power out of him. Okay, he gets destroyed, but we're going to do this as well. We can get three cards out of him when he dies. So that was one off of the spell, and then two off of him directly. So Actually, I should have played that second. That was fine. This has given us massive amounts of charges. There we go. <laughs> that synergy of Ambrosia with her is crazy. Ambrosia is just a card you gotta get. I know they're probably expensive now, but you can get them from playing Frostring too. Just play, 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 and try to get those. Playset is critical. How about another Bride of the Dance? Does that sound good? And we'll do our little buddy here. Especially since our opponent likes to play Destroy Target Attacking Troop. Still got a lot of health to get through with her, and she's got the ability to steal a random troop from the crypt here, but, but now we're cooking with the board we've got, so. Good for him. Nothing for her to d discard at this point. It's okay. Let's put another one on him. His main purpose is to die and give us cards, so... He's the perfect target for your charge power if you can get it. gotten to use him much, but let's... I like Sir Draxard. I like these other ones too. Let's go with him. Not that we need it, but we'll do this. So you got to see the shenanigans of all these thresholds and Oni Assassins and Bride of the Dams and Uranus. So that was Bride of Uranus. Um, I don't know the author. Hex TCG Browser is no more, so I can't look it up and tell you who invented that deck, but it's awesome. Um, 
please subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, like the video, and leave a comment for us. And uh, we will be back next Friday with another Frostering Friday. So until then, happy hexing.